All right, let me give you an update on how my week started. So I got the sprayer on, got the sprayer out of the barn, put the drop nozzles on. You know, as you can see, corn is tall. I need to get through it and put that last shot of nitrogen on. The first problem I ran into was a hydraulic hose leak. One of the hoses going back to the booms to open it had a leak. So I had to put some hoses together. These are my snowplow hoses. I stole off of the snow plows to get this back together. Uh, in the meantime, I have had some hoses made. Uh, this is the second hose in the last year that's had a leak. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace them all. Uh, they just get little pinholes in them. Uh, then 15 acres into uh, putting nitrogen down, uh, a belt went bad. So these belts uh, that turn come from the drive shaft uh, here into this box and then turns the pump, goes to the second belt to turn the pump. This one here is the one that went bad. It's a four belt system uh, on here. Uh, so this wasn't one I could just get anywhere. And when you replace one, you have to replace both. So I called the dealer. Uh, Pennsylvania's the closest one. They had the belts in stock. I said, uh, send two of them to me. And that's when I went up to get more nitrogen. Once the belts broke and I couldn't do anything. Uh, and that's when I had the flat tires. Well, I get the belts yesterday evening. I spent two hours trying to get them on. Well, come to find out, I had the wrong parts break down. Uh, so the belts that I got were two inches too short than the ones that are supposed to be on here because in my manual and documents for this sprayer, I did not have the right um, model here. I guess they've done some updating to this particular system and so I got the wrong belt so I had to do some modification in order to get the bearing block uh, here it's a bearing block on either side that holds the shaft and the pulleys uh, that bearing block should have gone up in this hole so this hole in this hole I ended up drilling a second hole further down to accommodate for the shorter belts so I did that on each side well, then, of course, my spring system would not work for the tensioners for the pulleys. So I had to go to my local hardware store and get some new springs to go on there. Hopefully, this will last me through the day so I can get this corn, uh, get this nitrogen put down on this corn. So let's hope things are good now. Fingers crossed. Let's get it rolling. So I have decided that deer are of the liberal persuasion. Deer as in the animal. Uh, yeah, look at this. They take and take and give nothing in return. They just come along and clip the tops of the corn right off. This is probably one of the worst fields I've got but you can see they have clipped all of these tops off of here in fact yesterday when I was coming in this road uh, with the uh, nitrogen there was a car ahead of me it had to stop around the turn there because a deer uh, ran out of the cornfield in front of the uh, car uh, and he had to hit brakes uh, to avoid hitting that deer. Uh, but it's not unusual to come down to this farm at any time of the day or night and see deer out here in the field. But yeah, you can see what a mess they have created here. 
as I said, they're liberal. They take and take and give nothing in return. I would imagine uh, this just took place today because the tops that were uh, cut off have not turned brown yet. They're still fairly fresh, but you can see now, why the hell did they leave that one right there? So they took one, two, three, four, five, skip that one, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, skip that one, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, skip one, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, hey, I can count. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Trample that one. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 50. Yeah, look at that. It just, it, it just goes on. Uh, but then they, uh, were either scared out of the field or they had enough, uh, but they're not really eating it. They're just kind of clipping the top off, it looks like. Yeah, buddy. Looks like 15 miles to the north of us, it is raining. Uh, but I just looked at the radar and uh, it looks like it's going to stay to the north of us, just a, uh, a shower that's moving through. I am, uh, well, I'm hitting buttons here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, disconnect this sprayer from this tractor. Then we will connect the baler to this tractor. Uh, then uh, I will get the uh, combine out, uh, fuel that up, and make some adjustments, and uh, we will try to hit the wheat field this afternoon. We'll see how that goes. Um, as long as that rain stays to the north of us, we will be okay. 
uh, look at the art that my daughter and I made a couple of days ago with tobacco sticks. Isn't that beautiful art? Um, we should uh, put that in the Smithsonian. Yeah, how, how could we move that? Hmm. That is, um, that is great work, if I do say so myself. And I just said so myself. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn you off. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, because I cannot back up and hold the camera, or else I will knock the barn down. I've got a lot of frickin' wires here. Uh, you know, in my next life, my next adventure, I believe I will get a job working in the ag industry making everything wireless. Yeah, because farmers don't have enough issues already with uh, technology and um, making stuff work for all their equipment. So yeah, we need to go wireless to make it even more fun for everyone. Okay, uh, tractor backed into the barn for the baler. And now, uh, yeah, those clouds are clearing up a little bit. Uh, I've got to uh, walk to the other barn, get the 7120, uh, because I've got the drill in front of the combine, so I've got to move that before we can move the combine out. Uh, a little bit close back and in the sprayer. Hmm. Hey, but I didn't hit anything. Well, would you look at that. This is what I found this morning when I came into the shop. Do you know what that is? Well, I'm not going to say what some people think it is because then uh, YouTube will probably block the video. Um, so I wonder if I should report this to the FBI or news car. Uh, so if you've been watching the news, you know what I'm talking about. But as you can see, that is the rope that uh, is strapped to our garage door to pull it down. And this rope has been on here, uh, I don't know, as long as the garage door has been on. Probably uh, 20 plus years. That's just the way it came. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Some people are just ignorant, stupid, dumb. I don't know what the hell you want to call them, but... <laughs> Sometimes we just have to laugh about it, but... <laughs> I'm still shaking my head over that. At somebody thought that was a hate crime when they found it in their garage. Wow. Uh, as I said, uh, we've had that one hanging here now 20 years on the door. Um, I'm not sure if it came with the door or if we took it off of another door. I, I really don't know. It's just something that's been there. So <laughs> let's keep on laughing and uh, moving on. Hey, this this camera doesn't make me look so great. I think I'm going to go back to the other camera. I'm not quite as sexy looking with this camera as the other one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it for now. So, see ya.